Hello, this is Mark Denham, radio presenter, audio producer, podcaster and voiceover. Today's part of the audio journey, we are looking at a stutter, a simple stutter. You know, like a st- 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 stutter in the m- 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 mix and that sort of thing. All right. We have uh, three voices here, all mine, but three different phrases. DJ drops. And we have turn it up. And we have in the mix. Now, you can do your stutter either in the waveform destructively, which means that will then be saved into the audio, or you can do it in the multitrack. Two ways of doing it. In order to show you both, I am going to take a copy of this one, select all and copy to new, and then we have a uh, identical version of it here. And we'll look at the first one. So here we are. We'll zoom right in. So we're close here. And then we will select an in point by hitting I. And an out point by hitting O. We'll copy it. We'll paste it. We'll paste it. We'll paste it. Let's have a listen. DJ drops. Now, you could, of course, make that much, much tighter when you're pasting it. So what you could do uh, if we go back and delete these bits that we put in, you can make it much, much tighter when you go in and you do your pace. You get an altogether different stutter. So we'll drop that in and then we'll drop that in and then we'll drop that in. We now have a much tighter stutter. DJ drops. And there you go. There's your stutter done in the uh, waveform. Uh, so uh hope that you uh, found that one helpful. You can now, though, however, move to the multi-track here. And if you go into the multi-track and insert this file into a brand new multi-track, don't need a template for this, you will then find that your audio comes up in the multi-track, and there it is. DJ drops. Now, because this is the one that we copied, of course, none of what we've done has been uh, copied across, and that's fine, because uh, we're going to do it from scratch in the multi-track. Control and K or Command and K if you're on a Mac to delete that, and then we... Scroll across, control and K again, right click on the title bar, drag it back, copy it once, copy it twice, and for luck, copy it once more. So now you've got DJ drops. And that's quite a long one. That uh, is probably just a little bit too long, but I'm just doing this freehand here. So what you could do now just to make this a little more exciting is you could copy that and copy that and then you could copy it again and shrink it again and now you'll get a stutter with a glitchy ending as well fit these in and that then is your glitchy stutter now let's have a listen to what we've created here with a glitch DJ drops there you go that's with a glitch again here you could do the same thing here with this one turn it up Cut what you don't need. And in this case, we have got all this trailing audio. So just drag that back and there we are. We'll have that again. Copy that same as we did before. Copy across. Copy across. Copy across. And we will have now. I didn't copy that last one, did I? Didn't copy the last one. Naughty Mark. Right. There we are. Turn it. That's just a glitch. That one is just a uh, a glitch. Turn it up. That one's more of a glitch than a stutter because we picked a uh, a small bit there to use. We have stuttered at the start. D D D D J drops. And here. Turn it up. But what about if we want to stutter in the middle? Well, you can do that too in this one. In the mix. There you go. In the mix. What about if we want <laughs> copy that? Drag this along here like that. And then what we want to do is we want what if we have let's have that bit there and that bit there out. OK, so what we're going to do here is uh, this one's going to be a little bit jumpy because we have cut bits out. So copy again, copy again, copy again. Now make this one half. I want to get the hard sound here for the the benefit of the stutter one more time. There we go. Don't need the end of that because what we can do is drag this back out. And we now have one in the middle. In the mix. There you go. In the mix. Now, all very basic stutters so far in under five minutes. What could we do to make this sound a little better? What we could do simply here 
in the middle of your multi-track this one here is your volume line so if you put that up it's louder bring it down it's quieter this one here is your pan your balance your left and your right what we could do is if we grab that push it up there grab this one and we want to drag this one down and again we'll go up and now we're into the shorter one so let me zoom that in and we want to go down and not move the actual file. I just want to move the line here. And in a moment, you'll see what we're doing. We're going to go up and we'll leave the other ones in the middle because they're very, very fiddly because they're very short. Watch the VU meters now. If you're not listening in stereo, you won't hear this, but watch the VU meters now. D -D 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 DJ drops. There you go. You can see that goes left to right. D -D 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 DJ drops. And that one is now panning left and right. So if you're listening in stereo, you'll hear it go left, right, left, right, left, right, and then into the actual DJ drops itself. Let's take a look at this one here, the in the mix. In the mi 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 mix. There you go. In the mix. What could we do with that one? Well, we're not going to go left and right because we've already done that. But what we could do here... Uh, is if we go into our effects rack, time and pitch, and use the pitch shifter. No correction here. We're not going to do it here because that would then affect the whole track. But what we can do is we can drop down here by right by clicking on this triangle, show envelopes, pitch shifter, transpose ratio, and boom, up comes this pink line, which is an automation line now. So the effect will be controlled by this line rather than having an entire effect affect the whole track. It is a track effect, but by using this, you can turn it on and off however much you want in your mix. And that's why it's an automation line. So we'll put keyframes at either end of the stutter. And then you can see we could go down to up. So it'll go very low up to normal in the mi 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 mix. Or we could go the other way and we could come down to up again in the mi 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 mix. Now, there's nothing to say that you cannot combine that. There's nothing to say you can't swap the pans here and go up and down, left and right, so you have a stereo pitch stutter. But those are just three ways in under seven and a half minutes to make a very, very basic stutter. You can see here, now that we've mixed this down, left, right, left, right, you can't really see the effect of the, uh, the pitch other than a slight bend here in the uh, spectral frequency. But on the, uh, on the left and right on the first... D -D 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 DJ drops with the stutter as a well, stutter and the glitch and in the mi 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 mix. So there you go. Simple way to create a stutter. You can go as, as fine as you like in the editing of that. But hopefully this has been of some help to you in creating a uh, stutter. In the next part, I'll show you how to create a stutter at a certain BPM. If you're doing, say, a DJ drop for your own set or for someone else's set and they want it recorded and mix at 125 BPM, let's say, because that's their average beat. I'll show you how you can do that in the next part. But for now, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Hope it has been of some help. As always, if you have any questions, follow the full journey at markdenham.com all the way from beginner up to where we are now. You can always stick a comment underneath as this video, or you can just use the contact tab on my website. But go have fun and produce something incredibly amazing. Not just amazing today. I feel you should aim for incredibly amazing. Let's have a look at what we produced today. D -D 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 DJ drops. Turn it up. In the mi 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 mix.